What's going on guys? Krusty K's here from the Gold Boys Network coming to you with the MLB Slate Preview for September 23rd. Uh, before we hop into this, remind, we want to remind you guys you can get all these odds at FanDuel Sportsbook. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into this one. We got a pretty short slate in our hands, unfortunately. The uh, schedule makers, four game slate, whatever this is, uh, as the season is coming to an end, apparently we just don't care anymore. So, uh, but we're going to talk about it. So the first one, the Chicago Cubs take on the Philadelphia Phillies, Justin Steele versus Aaron Nola. Uh, if you watch the Cubs the last time Steele pitched, he went just, uh, I believe, two and two thirds. Um, kind of confused as to why they brought him back. Obviously, they're not playing for anything at this point. Um, I would expect him to be severely limited here once again. Uh, more of just, I guess, trying to finish out the season on like a high note, perhaps. I'm not not really sure what the thought process is for here for them. Um, regardless, I like the Phillies. I think that this is a spot where you get a team like the, you know, like the Phillies who's trying to just, you know, keep it rolling going into the, into the postseason. And they're going to be able to do just that here against this Cubs team. Um, like I said, I don't expect Steele to be in long. And the options out of the pen for the Cubs, I don't trust whatsoever. It'll likely be like a, if I had to guess, Drew Smiley. Um, and and for me here, I think the Phillies just absolutely crush him. I think they, I wouldn't even be surprised they get a few runs off of Steele, truthfully, in the short time that he's out there. So give me the Phillies on the money line in this first game. Our next one, the Boston Red Sox, taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Tanner Houck versus Chris Bassett. So this is a pretty interesting one here. Obviously, um, divisional divisional matchup. We take a look at the wild card standings. The Jays are done. Okay, they're nine games out of the wild card. It's over. Um, the Red Sox are four games out. What do we got left in the season? Uh, six games? Seven games? Yeah, five. Some teams have five games. I mean, so last week of the season, the Red Sox are done. Um, for me here, it just comes down to wanting to back the better pitcher. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with uh, Tanner Huck. I'm going to go with the Boston Red Sox on the money line. Um, really more, of, like I said, it's a fade of Chris Bassett and it's a backing of Tanner Huck. I really think he can pitch well against this Toronto team. And on the flip side, I think Bassett, who's kind of struggled this entire season, once again, struggles in this spot. So give me the Red Sox at plus money on the money line. Wait. Before we get back to the picks, I wanted to thank you all for watching. Woo! Friends don't let friends watch videos without hitting the like button. So go ahead and press the thumbs up button and like the video. If you're new here and not subscribed, you should go ahead and do so because we're dropping new content each and every day on the Gold Boys Network. We strive to cover every sport and give out picks and analysis and valuable information for free on the Gold Boys Network. So make sure you're subscribed. And hit the bell so you can get notified when we drop something new. I'm Brad Thomas. Let's get back to the picks. The Seattle Mariners taking on the Houston Astros. Bryce Miller versus Hunter Brown. Uh, so we look at this game here. The um, Houston Astros, I believe, have secured. Yeah, so they've secured the basically secured the division. They're five games up with five gate with six games left. Okay, they, after this, I mean, obviously they're playing head-to-head, -head, so I guess potentially they could have not secured it yet, but in my opinion, they've secured it. R regardless, Seattle needs this more than Houston does. Um, you look at Seattle, who is on, currently on the outside looking in of the wild card, uh, just two games back. So very much in it. Um, get all these teams up, all these uh, AL Central teams in here uh, right above them. I mean, you're talking about two games out, and that's from two teams that are tied. So, I mean, you got four teams there within two games of each other. Um, this is a must-win for Seattle if they want any chance of getting into this thing. You can't afford to drop any more games, in my opinion. Um, I like Bryce Miller a lot. Love his stuff. I think he pitches really well against this Houston team. Uh, so, for me here, in a game that, in my opinion, means a lot more to Seattle, I'm going to take a shot on Seattle on the money line. And it's not even that, that I think Hunter Brown pitches poorly. I love Hunter Brown. Um, but if you've watched this Astros team, Jordan just got hurt. That's huge. Obviously, probably not going to be in the lineup here. And the Astros bullpen is horrible. Um, I can't tell you how many times I have watched them come into a game, and it's like they spawned in with two guys on base automatically. So, excuse me. For me here, it's Seattle Mariners on the money line. We'll take a shot at plus money. Like I said, they need this game. The Astros, the Jordan thing, that could throw a whole wrench into just kind of the rhythm, how they're feeling. I mean, that, that's your best hitter. And now, like I said, he's hurt. They don't know how long. I haven't seen anything about how long just yet. But for me here, I'm going to take a shot at the Mariners on the money line. 
Hey guys, I just want to give a quick reminder that new users can bet $5 at FanDuel on any of the bets in this video and win $150 in bonus bets if the bet wins. Now let's get back to the bets. Our last one on this short slate, the San Francisco Giants taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks, Hayden Birdsong versus Eduardo Rodriguez. So, I mean, this one here, you got the D-backs who are obviously um, in the wild card. Uh, pretty much, they're not secured in the wild card, but they're not going to win the division. Uh, they're just too far out. Um, so for me in this, I, the Giants are a team who, I mean, nine and a half back, they're done. Uh, it's got to be the D-backs here. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, Eduardo Rodriguez 5Ks and the D-backs money line. Um, this is a spot where I think that you get a D-backs team who's just crushing the ball as of late. Uh, coming off a game, they blew against Milwaukee. I don't know if anybody saw that, but they were up 8-0. And Milwaukee came all the way back and tied it. Um, this is just a spot here where you get a, a team like the Giants who's striking out a ton, not hitting. A team that really just doesn't seem to care anymore, truthfully. So I think uh, Eduardo, Eduardo Rodriguez can pitch pretty well. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if he gets more than 5Ks, but we'll go with 5Ks in the money line because it gets us even money. And I love that price, love that play. Uh, like I said, Dimebacks, crushing righties, crushing lefties, no matter what splits you look at. Uh, WRC plus well above 100 over the last 14 days. And on the flip side, Giants not hitting anybody. So give me Erod, give me the D-backs. They pick up a win here. Um, that's it though. That concludes the slate, four games. That's all we're going to talk about. So best bets, I mean, there's four bets. Hopefully we hit all four. Um, <laughs> going forward, we will finish out the season with these videos. I'm going to do a postseason... I don't know if I'm gonna do one video or multiple videos. We're gonna do something for the postseason to keep giving you guys picks. Uh, super excited about it. But as always, you can get all my official plays at goldboys.com. If you have a gambling problem, dial 100 Gambler. Thank you guys.